Hello all, welcome to eDrawMax. Let's begin with understanding what a Gantt chart is and how it's used. A Gantt chart is a project management tool assisting in the planning and scheduling of projects of all sizes, which are used to convert project management timelines and tasks into a horizontal bar chart, showing start and end dates, as well as dependencies, scheduling, and deadlines to keep tasks on track. Now let's learn how to create a Gantt chart in eDraw Max. First, navigate to File, click on New, and select Project Management from the list, and then choose Gantt chart from the subcategory. There you will find various templates of Gantt charts you can draw based on your requirements. Click on the plus icon to open a new drawing sheet. From the library, I'm going to select Gantt shapes from the general library list and place it on the drawing sheet. And Gantt options will display so I can modify the Gantt chart, especially the date units. I'll update the start and finish date of a selected project to meet my requirements. Also, the working days in a week can be changed accordingly, as well as the start and finish times of a working day, depending on what I need for this project. I can also modify the date format, placing date, month, year in the required format, followed by modifying the percent format and the duration format. Currency format and units can also be changed as per your project's requirements. On the right pane, there are options for editing your Gantt chart. In the Gantt chart, you can add new tasks by inserting options based on your needs. and also subtasks can be created and deleted accordingly. Indent and outdent of any tasks can be done from the same task editing options, which will help you organize any task as needed. Movement as per the dates and start and finish days can be done by using the navigation option. Next, the task information can be modified as your project requires, followed by setting up a milestone. At any moment, you can add any number of columns to your Gantt chart based on the project's demands. Like priority, for example, where you can prioritize certain tasks. Modify the completion percentage, which you can see in the bar chart of the respective task. Insert the title of your Gantt chart. Resize the chart to fit the window for better representation of your chart. Navigate to View and deselect the grid lines. Click on the From Current Page icon to view the diagram in presentation mode. Now we'll learn how to edit Gantt chart data. Open any Gantt chart which you want to edit. Right-click on Task and you will find direct options for editing as we discussed earlier. You can change the task name and move or drag the bars as per the start and finish date with the completion percentage. When you edit completion dates, the green progress bar updates automatically. Also, tasks can be edited using the right pane options, as we discussed before as well. Select two tasks by holding down the control button, and you can link those two tasks as needed and link by dragging the bars.
you can unlink the tasks using the Unlink Tasks option. Task information can also be modified using the right pane options. Milestones can be set as per your goals and objectives. You can add comments to the taskbars by right-clicking and inserting text. You can also add hyperlinks to tasks as well. You can make your Gantt chart look good by using the color palette below. Thus, a Gantt chart can be edited to convert project management timelines and tasks into a horizontal bar chart to keep tasks on track. Now let's learn how to create a Gantt chart from data. Navigate to the right pane and click on the Import option, from which you can insert already defined data to your Gantt chart from your computer. Here I've imported an interior decoration Gantt chart. Editing can be done as we discussed earlier and as your project requires. Insert a title, Interior Decoration Gantt Chart. Navigate to View and deselect the grid lines. Click on the From Current Page icon to view the diagram in presentation mode. Similarly, eDraw Max has plenty of diagram examples for you to use as a resource. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more eDraw Max videos.